Hey guys, it's Joe with VMP. We're here with my 2017 F-150 that you've seen in other VMP videos where we installed a VMP Gen 3 supercharger. Did a little bit of suspension work before Mod Motor Nationals. Main reason we did that was, although having 700 horsepower at the tire is great and all, getting it to hook up is a, another problem entirely that has to be addressed. With all the power we added with the Gen 3 supercharger, we figured it'd be a good idea to make sure the traction side of things was handled. So we got with the sales guys and got some Caltrax traction bars coming along with the Belltech 1000 SP lowering kit and some Mickey Thompson tires. So as you can see in some of these videos and as you would expect with a 700 rear wheel horsepower truck, we're having some problems hooking up. So we're gonna move under the truck and show you some of the suspension stuff we did to make sure the truck hooks up and help prevent wheel hop. We installed the drop kit and the Caltrax at the same time just before the Mod Motor Nationals event. And thankfully with the use of both of these, I didn't get any wheel hop with the Mickey Thompson tires I had out the track and I got a 10.41 at 131.2 or 131.8. I also chose to go with the Bilstein shocks to replace the shocks that came with the Belltech 1000 SP kit. So as you can see in the clips, the video where we don't have these traction bars on the truck, the spring gets kind of like an S shape to it as it gets load on it. And then as it unloads when it breaks traction, it will straighten back out. And when you get wheel hop, it gets in a cycle of loading, unloading, loading, unloading. And it puts a lot of stress on components with the, the rate at which the, the grip is increasing and decreasing. With the installation of the Caltrax traction bars, what we're doing is basically keeping the rear end in a relatively fixed position, as opposed to the front mounting point and this bottom mounting point here, which keeps the leaf spring from getting shorter and longer as it bends and gets that S in it from the, the suspension loading and unloading. So this basically just keeps everything a bit more rigidly mounted and keeps it from flexing. So as you guys are watching the video, what I want you to look at when it's on the forward facing camera is the the angle that the the rear differential is sitting at which you can most easily see with that piece of blue painters tape i have right here along this edge so as the suspension loads and unloads you're going to see the pinion walk up as it gets load and then walk back down as it unloads and what you'll see with the traction bars is that it doesn't get nearly as much walk up on the pinion as it as the suspension's loaded from the from the force of pushing the truck forward. So all that all that force that you you previously used to bend the leaf springs and walk the pinion up is now being used to help push the truck forward. Keep in mind, I am on street tires in both of these videos, so traction's really limited. Uh, you don't get quite the effect of pinion walk or wheel hop on street tires as you are slicks on the track. Maybe in one of these upcoming videos, we'll get a video of what my suspension's doing at the track, just so you guys can see that for point of reference. But uh, on slicks, it's gonna load the suspension even more because it's pushing the truck forward harder. It's also worth noting that we did both of these videos with the suspension on the same surface, the only thing different being the suspension and the tires that are on it. If you want your truck to perform like my truck did at Mod Nationals or how it's going to at the track this year, make sure you give sales a call. They can hook you up with all the suspension components you need, all the supercharger components, the tuning, everything you're gonna need to get your truck to do what my truck does and what Justin's truck does. So if you guys wanna see more videos of what I'm doing with my truck and more videos with what we're doing with Justin's and all the other project cars and cars that we do here at VMP, make sure you give us a like, share, and subscribe, and make sure you hit that bell for notifications.